we are the dreamers of dreams. Living life, spinning like a merry-go-round Traveling all around the world, you know we get surround Good vibes only You know it's the one and only Justin Bravo Come on, yeah, that's my number one homie Subscribe Come on I'll tell you guys that like a lot of times I feel like a fraud. I feel like I'm just not doing something right. And what that is is I get so many emails and so many messages from skateboard companies that want me to do product placement in the vlog. They want me to review their skateboards, they want me to review their lawn boards, they want me to compare boards, they want me to talk about how smooth the ride is or compare the bearings, like all kinds of stuff. And the truth is this, I'm not really a skateboarder. I just really started skateboarding four or five months ago and I did it because Alex Gavin Camden loves skateboarding and I bought like a cheap little penny board and I just wanted to like try it out. And I would penny board around the neighborhood with them and it was a good time, I really loved it. I was so new at skateboarding that I busted my first camera, my ADD, my first Canon ADD DSLR. I was trying to penny board and vlog and it hit the ground like it went boom I crashed and I destroyed a camera because I was so green on the board and then I really wanted to get a boosted board obviously people like Casey Neistat, Sarah Dietschy, um were riding around these awesome electric boards I was like I, I gotta have it I gotta try it out and I got it and I love it and the boosted board's amazing and I use it all the time several times a week it's it's a lot of fun but it takes the skill level of skating out of it mostly because you're not having to break or give it any gas. There's no foot pedaling. And a lot of that stuff is where you get off balance in skateboarding is where, when you're having to move your foot on and off the board. Um, where, you know, with the boosted board, you're just on it. And yeah, you have to get used to the leaning, going over things, and there's there's balance that's involved. With, I mean, I'm not saying the boosted board's easy, but it's so much easier than riding a regular longboard or skateboard. And so what happened is I've gotten used to that. It's so easy to ride a boosted board that whenever I jump on a skateboard or a longboard, I'm like, ooh, this is a lot of work. And that's why I'm like breathing heavy. I'm like, oh, you know, I forget. You can go down a big hill on a boosted board and it doesn't really matter, man. You got a break. You can like just go back on it and don't worry about slamming into whatever you're going to potentially slam into. But with the longboard, you got to use your foot. And, um, it could be problematic, you could clip a wheel, you could stomp down the wrong spot. There's a lot of things that could go wrong and you go flying off the board. Um, or, you know, do stupid things like jump off the board and bite it too. There's, there's so many factors where I don't think that the problem is with boosted. So I got spoiled by that, I got lazy. I really didn't adapt any skateboard skills because of the crutch of the boosted. But now I actually enjoy longboarding. I like getting out over the skateboard and not just using the boosted and just trying out different things. It's a little bit more challenging, but it's also a little bit more fun and I think that there's a few more factors to it that make it interesting. But it is easier for me just to get on the boosted board and ride around the neighborhood than to get on the lawn board, get on the board up, get on any of these other ones. It's easier because I'm not gonna have to stress about crashing and all the things, but I don't know. I, I think that you kind of have to push yourself. You have to be willing to crash and be willing to bite it. And it's only times when you're willing to bite it and push yourself are you ever gonna learn anything new? And so that's what I'm trying to do. And I've worked really hard at trying to get better at certain things that I didn't think I'd ever get good at, like the skateboard, because the reality is I, I didn't skateboard much as a kid, so I don't have this like skill set already like down. And then I didn't do all backflips and stuff as a kid either, so I don't really have that down. Like it's not something that I have in my wheelhouse, like, oh I remember, I know how to backflip, I know how to do that. I don't know how to do any of that stuff, and that's why I've been trying to do it, I've been trying to get more practice at it and, and enjoy it because that's what it's all about is just kind of enjoying life and man that's what I'm trying to do that's what I want everyone to do Woo. I just did a little turn around a trash can and I felt pretty good about it I've been trying to do this thing that Camden does with his longboard and he like kicks it like 20 30 feet in front of him and he runs up and like jumps on it and goes and uh, I just every time he does that, I think it looks cool I'm like damn it's awesome and it gets like speed going and, like everything about it I love I mean, it's like when Gabriel does a backflip, I'm like, mmm, I want to do that backflip. Um, but anyway, he does it, and he's kind of showed me how to do it, but I still haven't got it down. 
but I'm gonna keep trying to do it today. I'm just gonna get better. I'm gonna do what I can to work in all the things. I'm gonna try to do this push. If I jump and I miss the board, or I go to, if I hit the board and it flies, because the bearings on the board are insane, so like I could hit it and like just it go out from under me, I hit the ground quick. A lot of factors could go wrong here. So, wish me luck. Pulled it off, feel good about that. I've got one trick down. I don't know if that's a trick, but I have one down. Whew, but I'll tell you, that is, like I said, it's it's tough. I get all these people want me to review boards. And uh, I don't know if I can tell you how technically good a board is, but I'll tell you how much fun they are, at least in my perspective. So if you're like me and you're a beginner and you're just trying to have a good time on a sunny afternoon, I can give you that perspective. I can't tell you what it feels like on a amateur pro circuit. <laughs> I will say that one thing I have learned over the past like five, 10 years is a lot of people say you're not too old to learn something new or, or whatever it is. But like, I think that any given moment is a chance to turn anything around. So if you ever wanted to try something, if you ever wanted to do something, the right time to do that is right this second. The right time is not tomorrow or next week or months from now, like do it now. Take your passion, take whatever it is that's driving you to want to do something and use that for fuel and try it. Get out there, do it. Whether that's the skateboard, whether that's skydiving, whether that's going to college or whatever it is, whatever the thing is for you, use your passion, let it fuel you and get it done. Um, because I think at the end of the day, at the end of your life, the biggest thing that will eat at you is regret. And I, I definitely don't want to regret that I never learned how to skateboard, that I never learned how to do the backflip, I never learned how to do whatever it is. And so get out there and do it. Skateboard, travel, go to school, find your passion and be all about it. And once you figure that out, pass that on to others. Aspire to inspire others. I think that that will get you more traction than anything in life. So I feel amazing that I have a new longboard trick. Maybe I should go try the backflip. Probably shouldn't press my luck.